You came out for a rally and you said, uh, you know, I'm done. I don't need to worry anymore. Uh, I did my part. I hope not, because today is day one of the, of the struggle to take our country not back, but forward. And so our last speaker is somebody who spent, as long as I've known her, and that's all I'll say, uh, working to bring our country forward, working to bring Pennsylvania forward, working to bring her union forward, working to bring all of us forward, Eileen Connolly. Thanks, Mike. It's a beautiful day today. And um, it's 28 years, Mike, just to be clear on how long I've been fighting the fight. So um, I just I just want to wrap up with a few things. I actually chair the Keystone Progress um, board and organization. Um, although I don't look at myself as Mike's boss, I don't. It's Lisa out there, I think she would know. As everybody else that knows Mike, Mike doesn't have a boss. He can't boss Mike around. But I think what's critical today in terms of what we're here for is not just about the union members in the state of Wisconsin or the union members in the state of Pennsylvania. It's about all working people. Because if they can take away from a union worker, they can take away even more from a non-union worker. And until the day that we are all union and can fight that boss the same way, we must stand up for all working people. I think it's critical to understand that even though our governor here in Pennsylvania has said that this is not Wisconsin, I would say to all of us, let look at what's happening in the state of Pennsylvania. On Tuesday, you may not know this, on Tuesday, tens of thousands of people in Pennsylvania are having their health care taken away from them because adult basic is going down. And Governor Corbett has refused to try to fix the problem. That's about us. That's about working people. There are millions and millions of people in this country without insurance. And on Tuesday in Pennsylvania, that is going to increase by tens of thousands of people. That is wrong in the state of Pennsylvania. That is wrong in the United States of America. We need to stand up for our fellow citizens, whether they're a union member or not. How many times do you hear that teachers are fighting for something that you don't have, so therefore they shouldn't have it. How many times do you hear that in your school districts, in your communities? I say to every union worker out there, fight to get more because then the non-union person has a chance of getting more as well. Right? Great. So, when you look at what's happening in Wisconsin and we think, well, maybe we're safer in Pennsylvania, I would argue we're not safer when they want to privatize our wine and spirit shops, when they want to defund our transportation system, when they want to cut back on school employees' budgets, when they want to privatize our schools. Go on and on and on. We need to stand together with Wisconsin, with Ohio, with the Indiana, but also with Pennsylvania. This is our time to fight back. I've heard so many people since the election say, Will it be that bad? Well, I say to so many people, because I've done a lot of work on elections over the years, how many people stayed home and didn't vote on November of last year? How many people voted for people that unions thought would not support our issues? How many union members in Wisconsin voted for Walker? How many union members in Pennsylvania voted for Corbett? Right? Let's work together, let's fight together, let's stand up, fight back against the set on tack on all working people. This is our time, we have to make the best of it. And we have to think about it not just as union issues, but all people's issues. Not just about what I have, the hell with you, but what do I have that you should have too. Right? organizations that are working on a lot of issues going on. We heard from somebody from the Sierra Club. In, what, three weeks, this governor has undone some key issues tied to the Marcellus Shale drilling that Rendell had put in place. That's an attack on our environment, attack on our community, attack on our people. 
We have to stand up and fight back for those. We have to stand up for people that don't have, have health insurance. Hey, Tea Partners, we outnumber you. So the hell with you. We have to stand up for people that don't have health insurance. We have to stand up for public education. We have to stand up for public workers. We have to stand up for each other. So let's stick together, let's fight together, let's kick ass together. We can win this fight. I just said, Mike, what else am I supposed to do? Um, um, Corbett's their hero. Um, anyway, by the way, Tea Party folks, we welcome you with open arms if you want to come into our crowd. All right, enough. Um, all right, so here's a couple of things. Just keep in mind. There are some people walking around, I'm told, with clipboards. If you haven't signed up, we ask that you do. We can put you on different mailing lists to engage in different actions. Um, the other thing is Keystone Progress have a, has a website, keystoneprogress, one word, dot org. You can go there to sign up for alerts to engage on a lot of the issues that we work on. Keystone Progress works on not just union issues, but all kinds of issues affecting um, working people, different social issues. Some of you may know there's a huge attack going on on women's rights in this country and in this state. Huge issue there as well. So there's also a lot of issue, a lot of information you can get on the Keystone Progress website. There's other organizations that are working on a lot of the other issues that are before us as we face this Republican-controlled Pennsylvania, half of the Republican control in D.C., and the fight that we're against in so many of our communities. So, stand together, kick some ass out there, and let's see each other on the streets. Have a good day. What they're trying in Wisconsin ain't gonna happen in Pennsylvania. Three days ago, a few organizations met in Washington and decided that it would be important to do a 50-state strategy, to have rallies in all 50 capitals across the United States. And you know what? As we're speaking, all of the folks in this time zone, every state capital is, ha is rallying just as we are. And as, the, and as noon comes up across the country, every single, all 50 state capitals will be having rallies. And there are rallies in Washington, D.C., New York City, Chicago, Los Angeles, and all the major cities. Tens of thousands of people are gathering together and saying, unions, yes, we are one, we are Wisconsin today. So I'm... Here's the good news. I don't have a speech. <laughs> and those of you who know me know that's a good thing. Um, today is not about speeches. Today is about workers. Today is about standing up and letting, letting people know why it's important for workers to have unions, why it's important for workers to have choices, why it's important for workers in the private and public sector to have collective bargaining rights and not to have those things taken away. That's what we're going to be focusing on today. And so we're going to be talking to workers primarily today. We have a couple of other guest speakers and one last surprise speaker that I think will really excite all of us. But uh, I'm going to move on and uh, let, uh, let us get started. And uh, we're going to be starting with an invocation. Reverend Susan Manasian will be uh, providing the invocation. Yes. Oh, yes. 